so I'm not quite prepared for this speech. Uh, thank you for making me the first guy, uh, Ken. Um, I just came to see Miss Benson. <laughs> um, it's been an unbelievable ride. We got back yesterday. Um, I don't think I've ever been so exhausted in my entire life. Uh, the kids have been with us for the last over three weeks. You know, we were in Waco. They were in a hotel with us. Um, and then we're at the, the facility together in Williamsport. Um, so they were really, uh, me and the other two coaches, responsibility the whole time. Um, so between that, getting prepared for the games, um, just making sure those guys are eating and going to sleep when they're supposed to, it's been quite exhausting. But uh, a run that um, will, I mean, it'll be in memory of my life for the, you know, the rest of my life. It was just an amazing experience. Um, you know, what can you say about these kids? Uh, they worked really hard to prepare for this opportunity. Um, there's a lot of people within the organization that helped us get to where we are today. Uh, we are all volunteer based group. Uh, me and the other two coaches, I think they had mentioned it. You know, we don't have sons on the team. I actually have two daughters. And them being there with me, my wife being there with me, um, my brother, my sister, all the friends that came up to Williamsport, all that stuff made it even more special um, to be able to share that experience with everybody. And then everybody within our organization, because there's a lot of people behind the scenes that do a lot of the little things throughout the year with our league, you know, all those guys deserve all the praise in the world as well. Um, but the experience being up there in Williamsport, you know, I've been to the College World Series a couple of times. I went to see the Saints play in the Super Bowl in Miami. BCS, Final Fours, all that stuff. Nothing compares to what we experienced up there. Winning was just a cherry on the top. It really didn't matter. We got there, the kids were experiencing everything they had to offer up there in Williamsport. Um, so it didn't, didn't matter if we won or lost. We already won when we had the opportunity to go play there. And it was just an experience unlike anything we have ever had. Um, and again, a lot of people to thank and uh, thank you guys for all the support back home. We really didn't have a clue on what was going on in the city because we were sort of in a bubble up there. Um, but we knew right away when we got off the plane yesterday uh, how much of a buzz was going around. And uh, ever since then, it's been pretty much a whirlwind. Um, but uh, again, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, really nice to meet Ms. Benson. And, uh, but uh, it's, it's, look, I see a bunch of friends in, this, in, in the audience too, and I'm sure probably a lot of you guys know my, my brother more, more so than you know me, um, you know, and, and there was no doubt he was with me throughout this journey too. So, thank you. Thank you, Scott, and congratulations. While we're at it, we'd like to send out a big salute to a couple of other teams First of all, a softball team that also reached the World Series from the New Orleans area, from the East Bank, who did a phenomenal job. In addition to that, our New Orleans Booster, who won the All-American National Championship in Johnstown, Pennsylvania, and we plan on having someone sharing on that here very shortly, too. And the American Legion World Series team that made it there to Shelby, North Carolina, and reached the semifinals, pedal valves, under Coach Danny Ream, who's here today. So let's congratulate all of them as well. <laughs> 